Good evening, everybody. I'm Nick Crowley, co-advisor of the C. Milton Wright Chapter of the National Honor Society. I want to welcome you in to tonight's virtual Spring 2021 induction ceremony. Tonight, we welcome in over 90 new members of the C. Milton Wright NHS, students who have displayed mastery and excellence in the four pillars of which the NHS stands for. Those four pillars being scholarship, leadership, character, and service. You'll hear more about each of those pillars in the speeches embedded into this program this evening. We also want to celebrate our senior class for all of their contributions and the things they've been able to pull off despite the immense challenges of the last year. COVID-19 has kept us apart from each other and has made much of the work that we do with the NHS way more challenging than we could have ever imagined. But despite that, through our flower sales, our virtual variety show and holiday special, our book drive and canned food drive and a variety of other programs that we've been able to invest in this year, including our virtual tutoring program, our NHS members have maintained the high level of excellence that our organization has become synonymous with over the years. To get us started tonight, let's hear a few words from the principal of C. Milton Wright High School, Ms. Erica Harris. Hello, Mustang parents, guardians, and scholars. I'm Erica Harris, principal of C. Milton Wright High School, and I'm excited to participate in the 2021 spring induction for C. Milton Wright's National Honor Society. I will keep my comments brief because this celebration is focused on the accomplishments of our students, but I'm gonna start by thanking the NHS sponsors, Mrs. Larson and Mr. Brogley, who have inherited NHS from Mr. Holston this year, and they've done an amazing job during a pandemic, keeping students, families, and educators involved and continuing to support and positively impact our community. On to our scholar inductees. What an absolutely amazing group of young people. In a normal year, these students would be celebrated for their scholarship, character, and contributions to the community. But we can't forget that these students met the required standards and remained motivated during a global pandemic, a changing world, virtual learning, hybrid learning, and so many other differences. They managed to maintain their academics, actively seek out opportunities to volunteer and support their school and community. It is with great pleasure that we celebrate our newest inductees and welcome them into the ranks of the National Honor Society at Sea Milton Wright High School as they continue to make an impact on our world via their scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Congratulations, Mustangs. Thank you very much, Mrs. Harris. Scholarship is the first pillar of the National Honor Society. Inside these walls or inside the walls of Microsoft Teams this year, our students take on a wide range of challenges, of rigorous courses that push them to their limits, but bring out the best they have within them. To hear more about the pillar of scholarship, let's hear now from the Vice President of the C. Milton Wright National Honor Society, Madison Romito. The scholarship pillar of the National Honor Society focuses on all of the hard work that goes on inside of the classroom. During your time as a high school student, you have dedicated both your time and efforts towards achieving academic excellence. From taking challenging courses, whether they're AP, honors, engineering, and everything in between, these courses and classes have made you go the extra mile, making you not only better students, but better people. You all should be incredibly proud of not only yourselves, but each other. You all have continued to display hard work, dedication, and discipline within the classroom during these trying and uncertain times, and that is something to be celebrated. Thank you so much, Madison. You know, when a school day ends at 2 o'clock and we all leave the building or log off of Microsoft Teams, what oftentimes separates National Honor Society students from their counterparts is what they're doing beyond that 2 o'clock part of the day. Their involvement in sports, clubs, various school organizations like SGA and Class Council oftentimes further define the, what they're giving back to the school community. That's the pillar of leadership. To hear more about the pillar of leadership, we're going to hear now from the two class of 2021 committees coordinator, Ms. Kristen Martin. To be a leader, you don't need a specific position or title to share your ideas, be resourceful, an uplifting person, and a good listener. Leadership is something that is solely shown through action. Many of you participate in a wide variety of clubs and sports, so there is no question that one, we are some busy people, and two, as members of the NHS, we have a platform to share our voice and our vision to better the community. I applaud each and every one of you for being able to balance your extracurriculars on top of school 
It is not an easy task and is something that you should be extremely proud of. So shout out to the members and the class councils who've enabled students to have the best year possible. Cheers to the tutors that spend their precious time after school to help their peers. To the members and best buddies who make everyone feel welcome. And to any of their club I have yet to mention, your participation and your efforts are recognized. Each and every one of you this year has really just stepped up and undertaken responsibility. And it is without your leadership that our community wouldn't be standing where we are at today. Who are you when no one's around to watch? How do you treat people who have nothing really to offer you personally? Character is the third pillar of the National Honor Society. To talk more about character, here's my co-advisor, Miss Elizabeth Larson. Character is consistently demonstrating integrity, loyalty, and kindness when you think no one is watching. Congratulations. We know that you will continue to promote the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character as members of the National Honor Society at C. Milton Wright High School. Scholarship, leadership, character, and service is our fourth and final pillar of the National Honor Society. That's right on top of representing our building with the highest level of integrity and mastering challenges inside and outside of the classroom, our members also document hours spent in the community, helping those less fortunate. Sophomore members had to document 10, while juniors had to document 20 hours in the community during their high school tenure, even more challenging to do in the times of COVID-19. Once in the NHS, our members are required to continue to give back, documenting service hours spent each quarter in our community. To learn more about the all-important fourth pillar of service, here's the class of 2021's administrative coordinator, Ms. Paige Mettinger. Hello, I'm Paige Mettinger, this year's administrative coordinator for NHS. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Service hours is not just a task that we make mandatory, but an exercise that we encourage our members to complete for the well-being of their community. When sorting through these hours, it was amazing to see all the different ways my peers were going out and serving. Food or book drives, kids camps, delivery, tearing down and setting up sets, and so much more. I want you to know that every activity that you completed has helped at least one person. And that's the goal, isn't it? After all, helping one person may not change the world, but it can change the world for that person. I encourage all of you to seek out service in whatever way of life you pursue next. Whether that be college, starting your own business, joining the military, or anything else. Seek service. The gratification you feel and the change you make makes it all worth the while. Thank you. On Wednesday, April 28, 2021, we were very fortunate to be given the green light by Hartford County Public Schools to have an outdoor ceremony for our 63 members of the C. Milton Wright National Honor Society Class of 2021. At our stadium ceremony, each member was able to hear from their outgoing officers and receive those coveted golden sashes that they've worked so hard for inside and outside of the classroom. I hope that you'll tune in to the NHS YouTube channel as we'll have the video coming up in just days to help you recap and enjoy what happened there at that senior gathering. But to give you a little bit of a sense of the message that was delivered on that day, here now is the class of 2021 NHS president, Miss Maria Lindsay. Hi everyone, it's Maria here. Thank you all for watching our induction ceremony. And I just wanna come in here and say to our new inductees, congratulations for getting into NHS. I wish you all a great year with lots of success. Please, please use National Honor Society to help you reach out into the community and learn some good core values. And to our seniors, I just wanna say thank you for choosing me as your president this year, helping me to lead you all through the great year. We had some crazy, situations with COVID, but we still managed to get a lot done this year, and I was just very grateful to be a part of that. Also, thank you to our advisors, Brogley and Larson, for all the hard work they put in and the dedication that they put into NHS, um, really helping us to reach out in new ways. Thank you to our officers, Kristen Martin, um, Paige Menninger, and Madison Romito. They're my great friends, so it was amazing to work with them and see their talents and how they work in, lead in positions of leadership. So I'm grateful for that. Also, I wanna wish our new um, officers a very successful year in NHS. 
I hope you all do well. Thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and taking this time to lead us further in the right direction. Thank you so much to all the committees and the, um, the committee chairpersons in office this year. You've all done amazing. And I know that NHS will continue to take strides and steps in the right direction. Thank you so much for watching. The passing of the torch from the outgoing four NHS officers to the newly elected four officers is a very special moment in an induction ceremony. You've heard from our outgoing officers in the program tonight. We want to congratulate the four young women who have been elected to the, the officer positions for the class of 2022. President Caitlin Lavella, Hi. Vice President Hannah Chan, Administrative Coordinator Bella Berte, and Committee's Coordinator Danielle Lambert will take their rightful place in leadership in the National Honor Society at C. Milton Ray. Our April 28th Senior Sash Ceremony was quite an event to be a part of. We endured the immense heat on the track, but still found a way to celebrate our seniors. And of course, as you see in the images here, it's all the official passing of the torch from one set of officers to the next. Because of the heat and the outside elements, we chose this year not to pass formal NHS candles, but instead to have the outgoing officers hand the new, their new officers their official officer pins. Take a quick look and listen in this moment of the ceremony. Madison will pass to Hannah Chan. And passing the pin from one president to another, Maria will pass the pin to Kate Lavella. Congratulations, ladies. In our NH at the very end. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. As the co-advisor of the C. Milton Wright chapter of the National Honor Society, I hereby affirm that the following 96 students have met the standards necessary in character, scholarship, leadership, and service for induction in the C. Milton Wright chapter of the National Honor Society in 2021. Eliza Amir. Lindsay Aidy Layton. Sienna Ainge. Benjamin Alter. Gabriella Alvarez. Rachel Balser. Zachary Berry. Ethan Ender. Joshua Bishop. Matthew Batian Noel Brown Nicole Butterworth Olivia Castelli Francis Ceballos. Ava DeSantis. Ryan DeVoe. Jackson Doherty. Thomas Downey. Mark Buffalo. Camille Duncan.
Cecilia Durboro. Alexander Durrett. Nehir Ertani. Charlotte Fisher. Ardon Floros. Ethan Fox Alyssa Galamosa Isabel Grijalva Elizabeth Gross Liam Rosnowski Bella Hanna Jamie Hansen Trevor Hyde Caitlin Heiderman Kaylin Hetrick Cooper Hitchcat Anna Polinski Raylan Howard Brooke Hunsinger Veronica Ingold Madison Ingracia Ella Jew Sarah Jump Daphne Kara Jacob Kegley Caitlin Kegley Francesca Kissel Isabella Kissel Caitlin Cook Christopher Labella Michael Larson Christine Lee Connor Lesniewski Liliana Lewinsky Bryce Lawrence Jenna Lurs Tyler Mann
Cody Maddox. Karis May. Lauren McCafferty. Catherine McNesby. Chase Mettinger. Maya Moroz. Nicholas Musante. Olivia Nelson. Madison Oaks. Todd Orzek. Emily Page. Harita Patel. Dominique Pekovic. James Pelletier. Ryan Pham. Delilah Pop. Cody Powell. Benjamin Rowland. Sarah Shu. Emma Sheridan. Lydia Shirley. Mackenzie Sigler. Hannah Silcox. David Simber. Sophia Skinner. Reed Stauffer. Brandon Stover. Liam Strauss. Riley Sullivan. Addison Sweat. Lydia Tespi. Lauren Tuman. Liliana Tuman. Miranda Turner. Hudson Welsh. Ryan Whiskeyman. Jesse 
White Scarver. Darren Zoo. Congratulations once again to our 96 newly inducted members of the C. Milton Wright National Honor Society. And those new members will have the leadership of these four lovely ladies to look forward to next year, as these four current juniors have been elected by their peers to be the officers of the 2021-2022 National Honor Society. Newly elected President Caitlin Lavella, Vice President Hannah Chan, Administrative Coordinator Bella Berte and Committee Coordinator Danielle Lambert, as you saw previously in this program, have now taken their place and will begin next school year as the four officers of the NHS. And now as part of the tradition of a National Honor Society ceremony, here is the newly elected president of the National Honor Society, Caitlin Lavella, to take us through our National Honor Society pledge. We hope that you will follow along in the description box with this video and reciting the pledge for the National Honor Society. Take it away, Caitlin. I now ask that the NHS members recite along with me the National Honor Society pledge. So please raise your right hand and you can find the words in the description of the video. Here we go. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands, I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Thank you. As new inductees to the C. Milton Wright National Honor Society, each of you will be receiving your official certificate of membership and your membership card as well as your golden pin. These will all become available to you after May 3rd. Students who are in the building now can swing by my room, room 228 before or after school to receive their pin and certificate. Students who are virtual only can begin emailing me to make appointments for they or their parents to stop by the main office to pick up these materials. Congratulations once again, and we hope that you will treasure these precious mementos of your membership in the National Honor Society. We thank you for joining us here tonight virtually on our YouTube channel. We want to congratulate you once more for all the inductees and their families. And we also want to thank our officers for putting the time into this induction ceremony and all those who made it possible from our principal, Miss Erica Harris, my co-advisor, Miss Elizabeth Larson. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you around C. Milton Wright, hopefully very soon.